Cracknell now for the live section. If you'd like to ask Jack a question, please raise your hand and we will come to you. Russ, please fire away. Look at all this space. I feel very alone up here. How you doing? Hello, mate. Good, good speech, mate. Yeah, not bad yourself? Yeah, I'm not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Um, no, it doesn't. I think, obviously, you got to say fair play to Ireland, like 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 you do. Um, but we are obviously very gutted that we, that we lost. I think, um, considering we were down to fourteen men, um, I feel that we played, you know, extremely well. And to be fifteen all with you know fifteen minutes to go, whatever it was, um, we felt that we were very much in that game. So um, yeah, no, it was a tough one to take. But the fact that we are gutted and we are a little bit frustrated, I think, is positive. I think. Um, we came off that, that that field thinking we could have won and you know it's only going to do good things for the team um, you know there's a few boys out there that are young they wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have suffered a loss like that and um, you know we'll learn a lot from it and um, you know the coaches are proud the players are proud of each other how we stuck together and how we how we performed out there so you know like I said even though we lost you know there's there's a lot of positives that we can take from that Jack the pack but obviously particularly the scrummaging was just outstanding England's so on top um, and you were clearly a big part of that. Um, how was that? I know, I remember a few years ago, there was certainly a report that you might be converted into <laughs> That never seemed to quite happen. But you were in and out, in and out. And I thought doing the belt seat jobs, how was all of that? Yeah, I've always said I don't mind playing games uh, in the back row, but uh, training's a different level. I look over some of those boys and how they train and how they maul is, is, um, is different gravy. But, um, you know, unfortunately, it was just... Of what, like, 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 like we all know, 14 men. It was just that we were, we felt that we wanted to um, go for the scrum, and, and I think when you've got guys like Genji, you know, you've got Jinx in the middle, and then you've got Sinks as well, and then Will Stewart that came on. Um, you know, when you've got boys like that that can scrummage, and obviously Marla came on at the end as well. When you've got boys like that that can scrummage, you know, we got to go with the team, and if they they get a sense of feel of it. So you know, we decided to stick with eight, and you know, for me, it was just my job at the time to to to, to fill in that back row role gap, and. You know, sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. You know, obviously we were lucky enough that um, that it paid off for us. But you know, like I said, when you got boys like Genji and Sinks are starting um, and a front row like that, <coughs> you got to go with it. They 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 can feel it. And um, yeah, no fair play to those lads. <coughs> Just finally for me, Courtney, your own captain did say in jest, partly, "Oh, Jack's basically a blanker anyway." At the mid-year conference. Was there any kind of real take validity? But was there a chance at one point in your career that? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think um, I enjoy um, I enjoy the open space a bit more, and I enjoy getting my hands on the ball. Not saying it back where you can't do that, um, but you know I, I I prefer to be able to get over the ball and get amongst it from being on the wing or in the centre or in the backs. Not you know staying in, in with the forwards sometimes. Like I said, the the way they train and the way they're made are, are different levels. So um, you know I'm happy on the wing, but you know if I need to fill in that space, I'm, I'm more than happy to. Appreciate your time today, mate. Bad luck. Thank you. Hi, Jack. Hey, mate. Uh, how much credit are you taking for the six run penalties? <laughs> I'd like to say them all. Um, nah, not a lot. I, I, honestly, I, I kept saying to Genji after, is that okay? Are you happy with that? Um, but, you know, they, they gave me good feedback. And, and like I said, my job's made a lot easier when you have got boys like Genji and Sinks. And obviously, I had Courtney beside me um, that are just letting me know I'm doing a good job and things like that. So, um no, I, I, I'm I'm pretty sure it's down to uh, down to the, to the forwards and the back rows, but um, yeah, I, I did my best to try and help. Joey, it was a it was a brilliant game to watch. There was so much going on. What was it like? What's it like to be in the middle of that and sort of players celebrating, Jamie George celebrating sort of many victories within the game? What was it like to be a part of? It? Yeah, I think that's why we we all play rugby. I think you you do play and you live for games like that because. That was a real test match out there and you know you are chucked to challenges and like I said going down the 14 men is a big challenge but you know this team um, we feel they're very much together and we know the boys eat in and out um, and we felt that we could we could we, we dealt with that and I think we did deal with that very well um, so I think you said like you said Jinxie celebrating the scrums the forwards celebrating the scrums and back celebrating the little the little actions I think it, it showed what it meant to what it means to us and what it means to this team um, that we are willing to fight for everything and, and fight for every inch. Like, like I said, we've got a lot of young players in the team that you know wouldn't have ever witnessed a game like this or been involved in a game like this. So um, you know we've got massive learnings from it. It was a, it was a defeat, obviously, and in the end, a fair heavy defeat. But it, does it feel like a win? How does it feel to be back in the game? Because it's been a long time since you've been back in the game. 
how does it feel coming off the pitch? Yeah, I think obviously, yeah, obviously we, we we lost. We know we lost, and that's what we're gutted about. But um, like Eddie said to us after, you know, he said he's you know, incredibly proud of the team, and the Courtney spoke very well after the game as well, saying just how proud he is of the, of the players and the way we fronted up and the way we dealt with it. Um, but like I said, we've lost. We, there's nothing we can do about that now. Um, but what we can do is learn a lot from it and and take some real big positives from it. The fact of how we acted and how we dealt with the situations in the game, um, and what some of those younger players have witnessed as well. So, <clears throat> you know, we we did lose. We know we lost, but at the same time, you know, we feel very positive about it as well. Well, you've got how much? You've got one more game to come. How much do you think that took out of your tanks? No, I think you know we not too many knocks from what I can see in the change room, and I feel, you know, Eddie spoke about it, the boys spoke about it already about next week about going to France and playing. So, um, you know, we, we know that we've still got a lot to play for. We know that you know the, this game is going to be massive for us, and we don't want to take you know a backward step now. And so, um, I think although it was a big battle and boys gave everything, you know, we're going to have a good recovery day tomorrow and stuff like that, and, and I'm sure the week will will be looked after, but. You know our sights are already on what we can what we can do next week, and again, it's another it's another chance for us to learn as a team, and a, a, another chance for us to come together. Um, so yeah, you know, France are obviously playing very well at the moment, and they played well again last night. So um, you know, it's one that we are you know very much looking forward to already. Thank you, Duncan, and we'll finish the live section with Pierre. Thanks, Pierre. Hello. Um, a question about the, the French team. How do you find them? Um, I think they're dangerous. You know, they've you know got a bit of wind in their sails at the moment, and they're playing some good rugby. You know, obviously watching the Wales game last night, uh, they like the ball in uh, in play. They like to chuck the ball around. Um, they've got some dangerous players. So, um, you know, it's obviously exciting to watch, but you know, one that we feel that we um, you know we're ready for and one that we can go up against. So, um, yeah, I know. Obviously, the, <clears throat> when they have a bit of time with the the ball in their hands and stuff like that, they are they are good. But you know, I'm sure we'll do a bit of work this week on on what we can do and how we can stop that. So back to 